there's been a lot of spiritual stuff happening in these last couple weeks. I don't really know how else to uh, to put that. But what, I, what I'm going to explain is just things I notice in everyday life. I watch things. I watch the world around me. I watch the patterns of my thoughts. Patterns of how I feel. I pay close attention. Very close attention. To everything. I can't tell you what's going to happen. But what I can tell you is that the energy is building very fast. Every day that goes by, we're moving into the future, man. When you ride your bike down the road, you're riding into the future, brother. The future is nothing except for what you make of it. If you sit around, your future is going to be you sitting around. <laughs> but if you get out in the world, and you see things for what they are, your future, you have no idea what it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be. I just know it's going to be something. And there's going to be lessons to be learned. There's going to be wisdom to be gained. Pay attention to everything that's around you. Pay attention to everything, your emotions, the, the energy in the air, everywhere you go has an energy, it's got a feeling of the atmosphere, I'll say. I, I'm going to try and put this in words that you can understand. Every place has its own atmosphere. And it's got its own feeling that you, only you are going to understand. Everybody understands the feelings different. Everybody receives the energy differently. But every place on this planet has a feeling, and it's got an atmosphere. There's energy. Pay attention to that. These last, I would say, week and a half to about two weeks, and there, there's just been so much stuff happening, left and right, but none of it surprises me. That's the thing. None of it surprises me. I knew weird stuff was going to be happening. I just didn't know what it would be. And I didn't know when it would be. Or who it would be from. Just like now. I feel a very powerful change in the atmosphere. A very powerful change. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's from. Nobody does. We just know that it's here. And then it's changing. Okay, I, I think that right now is really when we need to be, we really need to get our mind, we really need to get our mind together, man. We need to start paying close, close attention. Because in the last, I would say, 55 to 60 years, the American generation, not just the Americans, the entire world has just been dumbed down by technology. See, these scientists, they, uh, they study our minds. They study how the human body works. And over the years, they figured out ways of altering your mind and my mind at a young age. Back in the 50s and 60s, the music was a lot better. It sounded cool. But look at it. It only lasted for 5 and 10 years. And then they started making music differently. They keep... Every five or six years, they keep updating this media that everybody is listening to. You know, back in the day, things were a lot more appropriate. That's why people were more free-minded. You know what I mean? They, they didn't grow up with all, all this technology. They didn't grow up in a school telling them that there's no God. They didn't grow up 
in a system that is trying to stop you from thinking. School is like a like a jail for kids. It's like mind police. Like they're the mind police, man, really. You know, they they want to hold you until you're 18 years old and make sure that you believe the line of bullshit they're trying to brainwash you with. And if you don't believe it and you don't prove that you believe it, they're going to hold you back another year. Over the years, these mad scientists have done a lot of research. They've done a lot of studying on people's minds. And over the years, they found out that a person's mind is everything. A person can't do anything without their mind. They're defenseless without their mind. So they want to distract you at a young age before you have the ability to really operate your mind and use it to your advantage. They want to alter that and keep you from knowing the truth at a young age so you're powerless. And so you get sucked into this system and so you accept it. They want to condition the entire society from a young age into this world system. And I don't care who agrees and who doesn't agree. The world system is run by Satan. Okay, it's money. Money is the root to all evil. It says that right in the Bible. Money is the root to all evil. The love of money, I'm sorry, I forgot says the love of money is the root to all evil. And you see these people, these corporate engineers, pockets and pockets full of money when they don't do anything. I mean, you, you see how it is. They don't do anything. They sit. They give orders. And yet they, they get paid all this money. <laughs> do you think they're getting paid because they're a good person or they're doing something good for humanity? No, they're the ones who are altering these people's minds. They're the ones who are basically trying to condition you and me. Okay? If you think about it. Don't watch the TV. Television is a very powerful weapon of the devil. Okay, you and me, we're, we're not at war with the flesh. We're at war with principalities. The people that you see on the television have already sold their souls. You're not at war with them. Alright, because when they're on the television speaking, they're not really speaking. The devil is speaking through them. Or a demonic spirit is speaking through them. They may have their little grins. They may have their smiley faces and their makeup on. But it's all to hide their true self. It's all to hide the evil that lies within. Could you imagine for one second if a person like me got onto a television set in front of 10 million people? Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, really, could you? Could you really imagine someone like you or like me on a television screen in front of all these sheep? Could you imagine? There would be so many people trying to kill me and trying to kill you. Not because they hate me or they hate you, but they hate Jesus. They hate the truth. They don't want you to know the truth because the truth shall set you free. And they know that. They want to keep you from knowing the truth. Think. Think for yourself. Don't let the eye fool the mind. So many people let their eyes fool their mind. They believe these lies that the president and Congress say. <laughs> they believe that that they that they actually can make a difference by voting. <laughs> They, they're brainwashed, all right? Think, I want you to think. Use your mind. 
I know you were taught to not use your mind, but use it. The truth shall set you free. When I went to school, I remember when I was seven years old, the teacher was trying to say, Santa Claus was coming and it is reindeer were going to land on my roof. I've heard the saying before that, but I never understood it until I was around seven years old. All the other kids in the room were going, Yay! Santa Claus is coming! Yay! And I'm sitting there. I didn't say a word, I remember. Because I knew Santa Claus wasn't real. Okay, I was taught that Christmas is Jesus' birthday. But school teaches young children that a fat old man is going to be coming down your chimney in a sleigh filled with presents and reindeer that fly all the way from the North Pole to your house for no reason. Okay, that's what school teaches. At least the school I went to when I was a young kid. They turn Easter, the day that Jesus died and rose again. Jesus rose on the third day. That's Easter. School takes the image of Jesus' resurrection and puts an Easter bunny and candy in front of it. Okay? I want you to think about that. Just think about it. It was also a game in school that we played when I was a young kid called Hangman. The teacher would make us all spell out a word and if we didn't get the word right another piece of your body was connected to the man on the hook. When I was a kid I used to love playing that game in school and so did everybody else because we didn't know what it was about. Now that I'm older I understand it's the simplest techniques that everybody seems to not even notice to have the biggest and most impact on a person's life. And they know that. They know how to alter your mind from a young age. On Christmas morning, a young child at let's say six or seven years old is not going to be thinking, oh, Today is the day of the birth of our Savior. Today is the day that Jesus was born. The man who was able to free us from all of our sins. The man that was killed and tortured on a cross for our freedom. But no, young kids aren't thinking about that on Christmas morning. They're not thankful for anything they have on Christmas morning. Instead, their main concern is what's under their Christmas tree. What kind of presents did they receive? It irks me to my soul. I can honestly say that this nation makes me sick to my soul. The United States of America makes me sick to my soul. Okay? It's not the country that makes me sick to my soul. It's the system that this country has began to follow. These people think they own this country. The government thinks they own this country. They're spraying stuff in the air on top of us, in the snow. Think about that. It's spiritual. It's very spiritual. These people who want power are not like you and me. 
these people who work in the White House are not just ordinary people like you and me who want to have fun and appreciate things. These people were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They were born wearing $8,000 tuxedos. They were born with this stuff. They were born having everything they had. Everything they wanted. Anything they wanted. And they were lied to at a young age by their parents. By the system. These people were probably deceived more than any of us were. At a young age. And then as they grow up to be an adult. They do the evil things and make the evil decisions they make. Because they weren't taught right from the beginning by their parents. Once you start something good, that energy is going to spread and it's going to grow. But once you start something negative, the same concept applies. If you start something bad, that energy is going to grow and spread. If you don't pray to Jesus to have that thing stop. When you talk to God, talk to God in your head. You can talk to Him out loud. I do that too. But when I'm around people, I talk to God in my head. And I talk to Him just like I'm talking to you right now. I talk to Jesus with a logical mindset. I talk to the Lord with the most clear-minded thought process as I can. So I know that He can hear what I'm saying. There's so many times when the devil tries to blurt out my own words in my mind when I'm talking to the Lord. But I don't let him because I know Jesus knows what I said. Whether it's out loud or whether it's in my head. If there's ever been a spiritual time that was any stronger than this, this is probably... That one of the most important times of our lives because there's not much time left the United Nations there's so many nations right now with nuclear bombs there's so many left and right I mean you and me can be gone in a heartbeat we need to make a difference now while we can spread peace and spread the truth be a watchman watch everything Question everything. Question everything the government tells you. Question everything that authority says. I can tell you now, this is just my own perspective, but I can tell you now, most of the stuff that the media puts out there, I disagree with 100%. Like these cameras that are all over the city. In the newspaper the other day, they said those cameras stop crime and they insist that those cameras don't see you or me. How could one of those cameras not see you or me if we walk past there? Every camera in the city from 7-Eleven to a bank is connected into the central database in Center City. And I don't know what's true or not, but I also heard that all those cameras also go go hundreds of places so hundreds of people are watching these cameras as we speak think about it as soon as you walk past the camera facial recognition recognizes your face and automatically records your last seen location in the central database in less than one second so the second that you walk past 7-eleven they know right where you're at. I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. I want you to know. Because a lot of people I tell this stuff to, they don't believe me. But it, go on Google.com. Look it up for yourself. Central database. Every city, every town, every state has one. And all the data is being gathered on you.